Do you want one, Deidre? Shaken, not stirred. Oh, fuck. We're not going to have another day of sniping, are we? I'm going to start having two sittings for breakfast. Oh, good idea, yeah. Get them in a routine for prison, wouldn't it? Do you want to eat your breakfast in the yard? I'm not joking. Uh, Ma'am, have you got a needle? Amy's ripped her cuff on something. Yeah, I'll give it here. No, no, it's all right. I'll do it. I could do with the stitching practice. After all, there might be a factory full of sewing machines to run soon. Eh? Well, who else is going to step in and run the factory when Carla gets sent down? Th who said that? Carla is not getting sent down. Rob, you said the police were all over her yesterday. Well, my money's on Carla anyway. And you're not going to be in a fit state to run it on your own, are Carla. you? Carla's innocent, OK? So just keep your trap shut. Carla is innocent. Listen, Rob. If we get the timing right, Carla will sell you her shares for a song. Tracy, for heaven's sake, you sound like a, a what's it chomping away on a piece of roadkill. Vulture. Maggot. Hey, come on, you're going to miss your boss. Owen can drop me off. Well, Owen's not here. He's had to get out early. Where to? He's not got a job. <sighs> yeah, well, that's why he's had to get out to go and look for one. Are you OK? What, yeah, why? I wish we had more money. Then Owen wouldn't have to be looking for a job. You could manage one job, like normal people. Money doesn't solve everything. You're stressed here. Owen's stressed here. Gary's stressed here. Never used to be like this. Well, we'll get through it, sweetheart. We'll have a chat tonight after school, OK? Just me and you. Not Owen. We'll have a chat after school. Now, go on, otherwise you getting a late mark is going to make Miss Gunn stressy. Go on. We do operate a pay first, read later policy, you know. I'm just checking if the boss is in it. So I know if she'll be turning up. Can have that for free, can't I? 70 pence. How did she, uh, get on with the police yesterday? She heard what she said when she got back. Oh, really? Why, 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 what did she say? I pay 70p for Big Oss and you get it for free. See ya. She were winded, you were. Oh, Anne, love. Come here. <laughs> oh, how are you getting on? Oh, I've still not got the hang of answering that question. Well, you don't have to. <laughs> Uh, thank you for your help. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I don't want thanking. I honestly don't know what I'd have done. You'd have managed, but you don't have to. The truth is, they're also to smooth the way for something else. Anything? I don't want to speak at the funeral about Tina. And I wondered if... Me? Oh, oh, I don't know, love. Oh, you know, surely a family member or well, something. Well, when you talk about her... I feel like you're proper new, and I could trust you with a memory. You know, we had run-ins, all kinds. I'd be worried I'd say something wrong and let her down again. You didn't let her down, and you won't get it wrong, cos that's what I'm here for. You can run your ideas past me. I'm sorry, I've put you under pressure. No, no, it's, it's just me. I, I'm sorry. I... Yes, of course. I will say something about her. Of course I will. Thank you. I just put these in water. It's, it's hard to get your head around how stressful it's been for her. Yeah, yeah, some kind of breakdown. She'll be off ill for a bit, but, but she'll come back stronger, no doubt. Look, either way, we, we'd ensure that you work directly with me at all stages, yeah? Uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Hannan, I've got to fly. I've got a conference call with one of our European suppliers. Look, if you need me, just uh, call me on my mobile. Yeah, my mobile. Tell me. Conference call? It's cosmopolitan. <laughs> what? What? Why are you looking so guilty? I'm not. You are? Well, maybe it runs in the family that people point the finger at us when we've not done out. How are you doing? Mrs. Barlow. Connor! I told you, it's Connor. Right. Now, this is the last time I am Mrs. Connor. The next person to call me Mrs. Barlow gets a formal warning, all right? A warning? I'm rubbish at names. You're rubbish at everything. You what? Right, what, what's my name? Huh? Name, now. Mrs. Connor. Exactly. It's not rocket science, is it? Even Sean can do it. Just, just be patient, yeah? Thanks, love. I'll see you again. Right, here. Uh, I said eat in. How am I meant to work when every time I glance up, I cop for that look? What look? You tell me. Uh, 
No, I'm sorry, all right, I just, I didn't sleep. Because I can't stop thinking about it. You've got to stop thinking, I've had to. What's happened's happened, and no amount of wishing, hoping or thinking is going to change it. No. I'm, I'm sorry, Gary, I know it's a lot for you to get your head round, but I've got enough on my plate trying to manage Faye. Oh, don't tell me she knows about feeling as well. D does she, heck? What do you take me for? She doesn't even know I've kicked Owen out last night. You what? That's what I'm not going to be able to keep from her. You kicked him out? Hey, look at you. You don't know whether or not to be glad or bad. You want to be grateful you're not managing that in front of Faye. So what have you told her? Nothing. Just said it was work stuff. She's got school to face. I'll tell her tonight. So, can you do me a favour, please? Go and eat your butter somewhere else. Oh. Yes, miss. I'm just here to see Ryan. Yeah, go on, it's OK, I'm fine. Um, OK. Right, Roy, uh, he's left you some instructions. He wants to know if we're going to start tonight. Right, well, you know, prep the only girl at least. So how was fair this morning? I'm at work, Owen. Sorry. Yeah, of course. Sorry. Are you looking for some app? No. Uh, no. No, I was just, uh, I wanted... Oh, no. whatever it is, you won't find it under the sink. Looks like I timed this about right. You're having a, a party? I just thought you might be getting fed up with tea and corporation pop. Looks like I was right. Oh, dandelion and burdock. I used to love this. Don't half make you windy, though. So, what, what's happening out there, then? Nout. <laughs> That's the world for you. Carries on regardless. Yeah. You gotta get out, get some fresh air. No, no, no. Legs will walk me straight into the nearest boozer. It don't matter what my head told them. Just... Alcohol will just make everything worse. Oh, yeah? Well, you, you tell me one thing that will make this worse, dear. Just one thing, because I can't think of anything. Did you see Carla? No. Everybody was talking about it, though, being hauled off to the police station yesterday for hours on end. I, I need to see her, you know, I'd do something, because... She plays this, she puts on this front that... But underneath, she needs somebody who knows her, knows her like I know her. She's got Rob and she's got Michelle. Yeah, but I love her. Well, you had a funny way of showing it. <sighs> Look, Peter, I'm going to stand by you, because I honestly believe that you didn't harm Tina, but what you did to I, Carl... I know, I know, and, I, and I'll do anything to, to help her if I can. You can't be the poison and the medicine. Anyway, you've got enough on proving your own innocence without getting tangled up with her again. Do you believe she's guilty? I don't know. But if she is, it's my fault. It's all my fault. I should be locked up and left at rot. Right, thank you, Mrs. Sterling. And mind how you go on that leg. Bye-bye. Right. I take it you're not here for your full head of foils and to bore me for two and a half hours about your roof repair. Tell your gran to come and find me when she's got a minute, will you? Uh, I'll be at home or in the gym. Well, what would you want her for? We know what she wants her for. Yeah, I know we know. I just wanted to see if she'd admit it. You don't know what I want her for. You're not mind readers. No. We're envelope readers. Think we didn't see that letter what arrived this morning? That you did. Prison postmark. I did not hide it. One minute there, gone next, you've disappeared. Who takes the post to work? Yeah, so what is it? The restorative justice folk want you to talk to our friendly neighbourhood burglar. Another two weeks off his sentence. It was from Michael, actually. What, from him? As in what? He's written to you? Personally. Well, what did it say? <sighs> Dear Mug, feel sorry for <laughs> me. I won't need nothing off you again. Just give me your life savings. It was a very respectful letter, actually. Well, let's see it. No! Well, you were going to show it, Gran? No, I wasn't. I was going to talk it through with her, get an opinion. About what? Whether to shred it or burn it? <laughs> shred it. Burn it? Shred it, then burn it. On whether to reply. And before you start, he's not after out. He feels guilty. Well, he is guilty. The judge told him that. Just tell her I want to see her, will you? I can't even believe he's allowed to write to you. Is he allowed to write? I'm surprised he can write. So what could you possibly do that I'd want to pay you for? I don't know. Sell stuff, clean stuff, move stuff around. Or just give me a go. It's not like I can do any harm. No one likes to shop anyway. Right, well, that is you sacked before you've even started. I tell you what, love, 
I'll give you a reference. In writing, don't touch this clueless half-wit with a barge pole. Would that be all right? What are you doing here at dinner time? Wasting my time. Well, shouldn't you be back at school playing kiss chase with the boys or something? Boys are pathetic. Oh, I see, so point. Well, boys might be pathetic, but they can tell the time now. Come on, get a move on, otherwise you're going to be late. Why is it so hard to get a job, Dad? Oh, there's a question. Well, how did you get yours? I just picked up my bucket and asked if anybody wanted the windows cleaning. Does anyone need the bucket carrier? Have you got any previous experience? Does carrying other stuff count? Oh, that's what they call transferable skills. Lunch boxes, bags, Mum's on bag because she's always asking me to go upstairs for it. Please, Dad. Well, you can be my glamorous assistant, but we'll talk terms after school now. Come on, get a move on. Yes. Well, how's she doing, Anne? Oh, I'm keeping busy. Organising. You know, she's asked me if I'll speak about Tina, but I don't think I'm the right person. Oh, no, you should. You'll do her proud. That's what I've been telling her. Well, I thought it would be better if more of us spoke. You know, have more voices, not just mine. All right, yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, thank you, David. Oh, that feels much better. What a relief. I didn't fancy standing up there on my own. Uh, so, wait, saying... that's two, that's me and David. Oh, she'll be glad it's you. Probably more so than me after some of the things I said to her. Still, we can try and do her proud now, can't we? Who else have I got to talk to? No one until you've had something to eat. You want to take care of yourself. Come on, be strong. Good lad. Got a call into Langford's. I mean, we tendered, didn't we? Give them a good price. Whoever undercut us will be struggling to give them the quality they wanted. Bill Langford. Talks to your chest, not your face. No, we're not working with lechy blokes anymore. You won't be working with anyone at this rate. Of course we will. Come on, we just need to be proactive, that's all. I think we should start making some calls to old contacts, you know, see where they're up to. Yeah, that's a good idea. You can rustle up some profits. That way I can do some online shopping for my prison cell. I wonder what Peter will spend his half on. Forget about Peter. He's done enough damage. Don't let him pull this place down and all. I'll just... Just what? What was he just... Tracy. That was Tracy? I reckon, yeah. You reckon how? Because you can read his mind or you can see other people's mobile phone displays on the inside of your eyelids? Carla. I can see that, Mr. Carla. Adler. The, the original unit price was very... I knew it. You said so I you said, said we weren't dealing with him. Give us that. I told you you could stick your contract. That doesn't mean to say you start drawing up a new one trying to rip us off. I won't be treated like a child in my own factory. What? What are you gawping at? I'm gonna get gawped at plenty when I'm in the dock, aren't I? But I don't know what I'm doing wasting time here. I'm going shopping. Well, that's not gonna help. Oh, believe me, it will. You coming? No? Clearly not, right. Blondie, get our coats, we're going shopping. Oh, Get our coats. I've got to make the most of my freedom, haven't I? Eva, just please, just just keep an eye on her, yeah. I'm gonna end up with no job here. That won't happen. Are you sure? Cross your heart and hope to die. Of course we're sure. Look, just go take a, a long lunch, go. Give us a chance to get it sorted, yeah. <laughs> Fretting about your mum? No. You are. I saw you through the window, sat staring at yourself. Well, it's just the first time I've sat down all day, really. And you spend it practicing your worrying about my mum face. Look, I I'm not worried about my mum, all right? Then what? David, has something happened? No. It's not Max, is it? It's just. Rita's asked me if I can say something at Tina's funeral. Like, as a friend. What do you mean? As a friend, why'd you have to add that on the end? No, I was just saying. Why did it need saying? As a friend, as opposed to what? An ex? You can't be jealous. Are you serious? She's dead? Yeah, exactly. So why are you worried about what to say? Just say something nice, so how can it be? Stop banging on about it. Well, you always dreamed about this, being T-boy in the global transport hub known as streetcars. Just be grateful you've got a job. Streetcars. Where from? Is that you, Andrew? Is it? Yeah, I'll just uh, hand you. If I'm not flipping off scouts by your over 
enthusiastic boyfriend first. Hey, babe. Why are you phoning a cab when you've got your own personal chauffeur? Where are you going? Here. Even better, what time? I'll come and pick you up. No, it isn't taking advantage. Of course it isn't. However, if at any time you'd like to take advantage... <laughs> you know, it's like listening to one of them dodgy channels you can't switch off, in it. Not only will I pick you up, I'll even take you to dinner. How about... Oh, wait, why not? All right, then. Early tea it is. You're the boss. See you about four. Bye. Early tea? She's gone off you. Me? Hey? <laughs> it's basically saying, forget any thoughts of me coming back to yours. No, it isn't. I bet you. Uh, early tea? I mean, what's that about? Who has early tea? You know what? There's a gig in town. I shall snaffle some tickets and then lure her into staying the whole night. Mm -mm, won't work. She'll be heading home by 6 p.m. I don't know. Gig tickets, though. She won't be able to resist. How much? Tenner. Sorry, I mortgaged to my mother. A penny? <laughs> <laughs> She's gone off you, mate, I'm telling you. I don't know. She might just want early tea, though. I mean, early tea's no crime. And neither is Eleven's this. Listen, Toddo, don't let anybody ever tell you that you're just a tea boy, because to me, you are tea and... Eccles cake boy. Yeah, I don't know how she'll react. Exactly. So let me be there when you talk to her. I don't want to have to manage you while I'm trying to explain things to Faye. You won't have to manage me. I just... I want to make sure she knows that she's got family around, even without knowing. Uh, yeah, but Mom, I think... Mom, I've done enough damage. Please, can I just do some minor repairs, at least? Right, I know you mean well, but will you just let me do this on my own? It feels like the more that people get involved, everything gets worse. I'm not going to make it worse. <sighs> Gary, you're angry, you're guilty, you're upset, ashamed, and just knowing all that, it's going to stop me from being able to concentrate on Faye. I I've got to put her first. Dad? Oi! What, what are you doing here? Are you all right? School's not rang. I've left. Hey? Dad's taking me on. Not in school time, I'm not. It won't be school time. I've quit. You can't quit school. I don't like it. Well, it's the first I've heard. And I need to earn money. What for? Alcohol? No. And I've said sorry about that. Just to give to you and Owen. Help out. Right, we'll talk about this later. Gary, will you take her back to school for me, please? I'm not going! Oi! Come on. Do you want me to get chucked in jail? Because how much money would we have coming in then, eh? Go with Gary, now. I never said in school time. I didn't. Can I get you something to drink while you're perusing the menu? Oh, perusing? I like a good peruse meat. Yeah, it was him over there. Says to the woman with the hair. Can I get you a drink while we're perusing the menu? Well, I started laughing only. He isn't joking. <laughs> Just a tap water for me, Tom. Tap water? She'll have a large glass of dry wine. Uh, she won't. It's OK, I won't have one. I'm still looking after the ticket, but it doesn't mean I can't treat you. It's not that I'm working later. You can't have tap water. I mean, large wine. No. Write it down on your pad. Nick says listen to the drinker and not the mate egging him on. I'm not egging and I'm not a mate. I'm just trying to buy a glass of wine for my beautiful girlfriend. Oh, go on. A small one. And the tap water. Mm, see, I can always find the chink in your armour. You'll not persuade me to jib work tonight, you know, so you can get that idea out of your head. Where's David put Max a scooter? Under the stairs. You're looking up the word shove off. Mm -hmm. And that's two words. A lemon. No. Mm, your alphabet's coming on, Gail. If you've got no nice to say. But I hope it's you that's got no nice to say. Or is that what you're looking up? Nice words? No. Challenging words. Eh? Well, if I'm going to write to him, encouraging him to change his ways, then it's got to be a bit more than a letter, hasn't it? Well, what else should it be? Educational. <laughs> oh, now, what on earth could you have bought from that shop? Boots. Yes, I know I'm only joking. Have you not met me, mother? Well, I don't know if I like him, actually. I'm a bit tacky. Tacky, right? Oh, I'll give her a shout. It's so expensive. Oh! Yeah. Hey, we can sink a bottle, can't we? Well, actually, hon, I was going to nip back to work, because we've got all... Stuff work? 
a bottle of red, please, Steve. Match our new boots. Babes, they white. Oh, are you? Put them on, Eva. Hey, I'm coming back in a minute. White or red, then? Well, she drinks red, doesn't she? I'm surprised she's showing her face around, to be honest. Well, it's all the fun. She's been absolutely manic. She was ages, right, trying something on before in the changing rooms. So I went to go and get her, and I could see her through the gap in the curtain in the mirror. She was just sat there, crying her eyes out. Mm. Well, I'm not sure being in here every day is going to help. Well, I'm not sure making me buy expensive boots is going to help either. Let's get her that wine. Mm. Do you want the dessert menu? Well, we could have a peruse. And huh? um, I should be getting off. Nonsense. I intend to abduct you and keep you here forever. Well, that sounds lovely, but... Come on, what's work, eh? Oh, I don't think it's difficult for you. I certainly will. Are you always this stubborn? Um, I reckon it's a heart attack thing. A heart attack thing? Yeah, it brings on all sorts of strange behaviour, like stubbornness and soppiness. Oh, work, uh, don't get soppy. Why not? You make me soppy. <laughs> what have you slipped in here? I thought you were looking after that ticker of yours. I am. And they call it a ticker because it reminds you that life is short. So I'm going to say what I truly feel, which is that I haven't felt this way about anyone since, oh, forever. Oh, vodka. I'm sending it back. It's water. I couldn't be thinking any straighter. Look, come on. Throw a sickie. Stay the evening. And tonight, if, if this face alone can't convince you, then these gig tickets will. Oh, fair play, mate. Two minutes, two. And here you are. Uh, you can't bring your own food in here. I'm not stopping. Shouldn't you be at work? What's he slapping you back about? Nothing. He's going. I'm going. Oh, come on, I ain't in jokes. It's not an in joke. Well, what is it then? Uh, uh, um, it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna go and all if you don't tell me what it is. Oh, it's. I thought you'd be gone by now. He reckoned he got you for the night. He wins. That's it. Wins? What, like a bet? No, not like a bet, like a joke. I, I knew you wouldn't be able to resist these. Why don't you listen? I've got to go to work. Sorry, it's it's no biggie, honest. You know, you might not take my life seriously, Lloyd, but I do. Of course I do. It was just a, it was a joke. Maybe you was... need some time out. Time out? I'll text you. Well, like you're done for me. Just leave me alone for a bit, eh? Give me some space. Perusing? My off. to celebrate. Steve, come on. Beer, please, mate. Oh, aye, aye. Here's our fellow window cleaner. I bet you've got some tales, haven't you, from the top of your ladder. Hey, come on, then, let's hear it. Entertain us. Where have you been whapping out your chamois recently? Hey, hey, new boots, what do you reckon? They're going back. Well, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, honestly, blokes. You're asking a question that's not a yes-no question, you get back a yeah. Out of a look, yeah. What do you think? Yeah. You're not grunt out an opinion? Yeah. <sighs> New boots, what do you think? They're white. They're white, that's fact, not an opinion. Nice. Lame, you get a forfeit. Mm. What's the forfeit? That's for me to know and you to find out. Steve, where's this wine? I'm glad it's not Sally that's going out and boss mine and duty. How much are you to add? A bottle, of which I've had one glass. I think she's actually losing the plot. Yeah. Then again, I wouldn't tell. Yeah. Well, it's good that you're speaking, Rita, because you were very close, weren't you? Till I got judgmental. Well, I concern, not judgmental. Believe me, it was judgmental. Oh, no. Have you like to be here? Yeah? I know you've been talking about me. It's not stupid. Are you not? No. Ask me if I'm bothered, don't care. Actually, Carla, we were just talking about the best way to say goodbye to a young woman who, whatever she'd done, didn't deserve to be pushed off a balcony. Which I presume you think I'm capable of. But I'm telling you right now, I am not the kind of woman to go swinging blunt instruments around people's heads. Blunt instrument? Come on. What? Norris. Oh, come on, Steve. I could have trodden the grate myself by now. Ah. I'm just trying to keep the business afloat while she's going through all this. What exactly is wrong with that? Well, nothing. I mean, do whatever it takes. If she gets out, she'll be grateful and sell you a few shares. And if she doesn't get out, she'll she'll be grateful and sell you the lot. What's this? Is this Carla? None of your business. 
Well, no, technically it is half his business. Unless you want out, not that you get much for your half at the moment. Rob is stopping that ship from sinking. The clients are taken to the life rafts. I don't care about the clients, just the house can't. Now, that really is none of your business. OK, you can stop that before you start. We're going to be civil this evening, all right? Yeah. Good. Now, does anybody want an elderflower press, eh? No, I've got wine, sir. I'm, uh, I think I'm going to go out. Well, I'll come with you. What, as this bouncer? Mind you, the way that people feel about him out there. DJ, I'm, I, I just want some fresh air, OK? Well, yeah, we'll get some chips and we'll sit in the park or something. No, no, honestly, I don't. I'm fine. I'm still coming. Ah, uh, now that's a welcome sound. Simple question, yes or no? If I got sacked, could it be your kept man? Actually, Marcus, before you answer, bear in mind, this is a ring around, but I'm giving you first dibs. Yeah. <laughs> One penny. Stick it where the sun don't shine. Oh, come on. I wasn't going to say out. Andrea dragged it out with the pair of us. Now she thinks I don't listen to her, I don't respect her work, and the whole evening was set up as some kind of bet, which it wasn't. Well, we did shake on it. Stay out of my way. Lloyd! I didn't mean that to happen. I mean, if she's innocent, it must be horrible. What, you think she's innocent? Yeah. I mean, we're all capable of it, aren't we, but... I just wish I wasn't chief babysitter. They must all pegging ate me. Yeah, you're paranoid. But Carla paid for them boots and all. Wouldn't be bribe enough for me. Traps in round town with a murder suspect. I think your job was safe enough. Mind you, how many murderers do you know take time out to go shoe shopping? Hmm. Thus shows that she is innocent. Mm, all double bluffing. Do you reckon it was true what she said about one inch? I thought Tina was short. I've thought of your forfeit. Oh, aye. Forfeit. Sally. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, same again, please. Uh oh, school's out. Frowny face. I take it Mr. Annalyn never changed his mind then. Carla, mm. you've got every reason to be struggling, okay? I understand it. I do. But all we're trying to do is make sure that when you come through the other side of this, the, other side? the factory is still open. Oh, business is booming. Hear that, Beth? Business. <laughs> Will you shush? <laughs> Just let them have a nice evening, okay? Because oh. I'll be texting them all in the morning, telling them not to bother coming in. Are you shutting up shop? Oi, Beth. Get hammered. There's no school in the morning. You what? I don't look like that. I'll not be cardboard for breakfast. I'll, I'll find a way to pay you a few bob, you know. I'll do anything to eat into Peter's profits. <laughs> Is this true? The factory's shutting. How long for? Well, hopefully not long, just for now. Well, how long's now? <sighs> Until further notice. This is her fault. Hey, shut up, Beth. Gonna make me? Gonna stave me head in? Yeah, if you like. Listen. Cancel that order, Steve. We best go home and save our pennies rather than spend them here. Go on. Yeah, there they go. Factory fodder, bunch of misfits. I swear I'm gonna swing for it. Mm, there goes gobby misfit. Do you know what, Carly? You do yourself no favours. Come on, there's a bottle of wine at home with our name written mm, all over it. Mmm, can't be self-obsessed, misfit. <laughs> hey, then there's your missus. <coughs> Snobby misfit. It's like the name in the Seven Dwarves, isn't it? Shall do something, eh? Come on, you've had enough. No, 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 no. Me and Eva would like a nice bottle of red. We've ordered another drink, haven't we? Actually, no, I'm not. Jason's waiting, so... Oh, can't keep Jason waiting. Right, so come on, I'll walk you over. Michelle, stop trying to take over me all life. Carla! Oh, I was going to take them back. Sorry. What are you taking them back for? I only got them to get you off my case. <sighs> Carla, right, stop come it! come on, home time! Stop it! Absolutely ruined it. Come on. Oh, Steve, get off me. On. Get off me, you big perv. Thank you very much. Hey, you tell him. Go on, you tell him. <laughs> Your fault anyway. You smug little rat! What oh, now? Oh, it's, it's okay, I'll do it. I bet you get served. He's had enough of you for his overpriced top shelf, isn't he? Peter, come on. No, he's, he's fine. Honestly, Deirdre, you go in. I'm going to be fine. I just have to talk to him. I'm not him. interested in your talk, eh? Hey, you can't get us a bottle of wine, though, could you? No? Well, no. Maybe you've had enough. I have had enough. You, Dev, and everybody. 
Look, let, let me just get you home. That's not your home. No, I, I didn't say it was. I said your home. Let, let me get you home. Wouldn't you rather be in there than out here, eh? What's up with the great outdoors? Eh? It's a lot bigger than my exercise yard's gonna be. You're not gonna be in any exercise oh. yard. I got... Get off. Get oh, off. Okay, got... Get off. I don't need a guide dog. Hang dog, thanks. Find my own way home. Look, let me just get you to the door, OK? I'll get you to the door. Shut we'll up! Oh. You sat Ooh, down, I've had years of hearing the contents of your head. Yada, 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 yada. There she goes again, racing through my brain. been out posting letters. No, it's not typed up yet. Typed up? I bet he put less thought into his house-breaking plans. I'm going up. Well, I'm typing to him in bed now. I'm gonna chuck a couple of monkey stories in, are you? I am not. Uh, can you keep your voice down, please? What's Max doing still up? No, he won't settle. He's only just gone off. He's got school tomorrow. No, was he really? I can't force him asleep, Mum. What should we do? Bang him on the head with something, ever? Hmm, a dictionary. Be better use for it rather than wasting words on Mac of Flaming Rodwell. There's no shame in giving people second chances. Yeah, well, if Borgie Man's under bed, will you give me a shout and I'll make him a brew? I hope she asks me to post it. Post it straight in the bin. <sighs> What are you planning on eating? I'm not hungry. Well, look, come on, I'll, I'll nip out and get you something. What would you like? I would like you to leave me alone. No, look, I'm not going to do that while you're in this state. Listen, you, you'll eat toast, won't you? Booze. You bring back booze or you don't bother coming back. OK, well, you stay here, yeah? I mean it, Peter. Vodka. No vodka, you don't get in. You try me. She doesn't know that you didn't sleep here last night. She thinks that you have to get out early, so... Well, where to? Owen! Owen, you tell me, what is the point in maths? Maths? Why bother? Well, I'll tell you what, forget about maths. Why don't you get on your laptop, OK, and find something for around, oh, ten quid and I'll buy you. Seriously? Owen? So long as you can tell me right now exactly how much change I'll get if she bought a top for, say, two ninety nine. Uh, four hairbands for, let's say, 89 pence. No, make that three hairbands and a bag of toffees for me for a quid. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Ooh. Too slow, love. Ah, uh, you see, we all need maths. Go on, otherwise that bath will be getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> like you can buy a nice top for 2 99 <laughs> nice, sweetheart. She's had too much disruption. Well, you've not talked to her yet. No, we'll never, ever, in a million years, be able to explain to her what went wrong. That's true. And, you know, drinking the other week, wagging off school today, I'm not sure she's settling into that school. So we need to make sure that she stays settled here. So I... I want you to stay. Stay? What, as in...? Oh, no, no, Owen. I don't mean that we're together. So what, I'm on the sofa, then? Well, no, because then she'd know that we weren't right. So? Look, I don't know. We'll have to work it out. You know, what matters is that we look after her and we try and find a way to live as normal as possible, OK? That's the deal. She's more important than any of this.
I don't believe you. Scouts on it. Yeah, well, they let lying, cheating, pathetic excuses for blokes and scouts, really. See? See, it's a bottle. Come on. Let me in. So where'd you get this from? Stash in the wardrobe for present. Yeah? Before? Shelf. Being nice. She wasn't being nice tonight, so I'm not letting her have it. You haven't even opened this. No. You weren't even tempted coming up them stairs with it in your sweaty little mitts. Not just spot it, no. Oh. It's the self-discipline now, are we? I won't take the top off the vodka. Oh, no, not me. I only take tops off babysitters. <laughs> Do you not want a little sip here? No. No. Last time I offered it here, you, you glugged it down. Yeah. Not this time. Come on, look, I'm worried about you, OK? What if I want you to? Have a drink with me, Peter. Come on, have a drink. What's sober for? Think anybody cares if you drink or not? Come on, you can stop drinking tomorrow. Hey, I bet you can stop tomorrow. Come on, I want your last ever drink to be with me. Have a drink with me, Peter. No. No? I'll drink the old flaming lot, then. No, no, come on, look. What good's that gonna do you? Who cares? The world may be on its head, but my lovely girlfriend is reading my lovely daughter a fairy tale, and all is well with my little world. Well, bully for you. Ah, what's up? You all right, aren't you? You're back on your feet, you got Andrea. Who won't answer her phone? Who wants some space? What is space when it's at home? Is space ever at home? So not picking up. It's because she knows it's me. I bet she hasn't even listened to any of her messages. You know what? I hate technology. People can see you coming, delete you out of their lives. Go around to her house. She's at work. In the landline. She's at work. Leave a message. She's at... You know what? That's not as stupid as it sounds. Because if I leave a message on her home answer machine, she won't know it is before she presses play. Exactly. The trouble is, I've got a landline number. Student contact list. You think of your opening line, mate? Hooker before she presses delete. There you go, babe. So, hey, uh, where's Carla? I've texted her. Oh, don't. I'm trying not to think about it. She was so far gone. I just wish Peter would stay out of it. How do you mean? Don't worry. He was only making sure she was safe, seeing her back to her flat, and he was sober. She was with Peter. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! You have been running around after her all day. I mean it, Rob. If you go now, you're going to be on the sofa. It's Tracy time. Right, here we go. Andrea. Come here. Andrea. Why did you do it? What? What? Yeah. You know, you're always hedging your bets with me. What's Carla going to ask me? Why did I kill her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why I did you kill I her? With her? She. Don't, did... don't you dare blame her. No, I'm not. Don't I'm you dare not, blame anybody else. It's me. Yourself. It's all my fault. I should be dead. It should be me that's dead. Oh. Okay. Hell yeah. <sighs> I do a soft 
shoe shuffle on your grave and all. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to prison. You know what? I can feel it. Prison. What for? Being cheated on. Humiliated. Losing my baby. Hey. Don't you touch me. Don't, don't you dare touch me. Hey, is this yours? It's on the bar. Oh, yeah, Tar. Not going here? Yeah, mate, listen, hey. Thanks for trying, yeah? Oh, uh, it beeped, by the way. Hey? It beeped when you were in the toilet. That's why I noticed it. Who sent you a text? I know the bet wasn't serious. Sorry I had a meltdown. Need a bit of space, that's all, to catch up with work. Speak soon. One, two, three, count them. Three kisses. Oh, well, it's all back on there. Woohoo! Three kisses doesn't sound like it's off, does it? No. Well, thank goodness for that day I've had. Honestly, even our Amy had me reading Charlotte's Web and we both wound up sobbing. Listen, get yourself a drink. Get me a pineapple juice. And when I say a drink, I mean a real drink, not just 20 pence in the jar, yeah? Thank you, I will. You're gonna ask to live with me. What, Michelle? Andrea. Oh, that's what I'm gonna do. Tomorrow I'm gonna ask her to move in. Today's when we realise, you know, I don't want this to be casual. Seriously, move in? I mean, what's Jenna gonna say? Well, no one here that it's too soon. Is it, though? I mean, you've not known her that long. I know what I want. I know how I feel. How much more do I need to know? Three kisses. I never wanted a baby. You made me want it. You made me care. She's better off. Dead where she is. No. Half you, half me. No. A monster. No, Carla, please. A freak. Say that. How could I have ever loved her? Half you. I hate you. Look, I just hate don't. you. Just, I'm, I'm sorry. Just let me help. I hate you. you. No, sorry. Just let me Peter, help you. I hate you. Right, I hate right, you. Love you. I love you. You should be dead, not Tina, not my baby, not my baby. What the hell is he doing here? I love you. Get out. Come on. Get out! I didn't kill Tina. I don't believe you did either. You still got feelings for me. Oh, why kiss me? So you can see what you chucked away. Something you'll never ever have again. I said, get out! I was out. I was about to get my key out. I was cooking. Oh, chicken dinner. Spent the last three months thinking about your chicken dinners. <laughs> I'm not going to disappoint you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> disappointed? Three months hanging out with a bunch of engineers in Nigeria. She thinks she's capable of disappointing me. Impossible. Oh, it's good to be home. Yeah, it always feels weird whenever I come back, though. Everything looks the same, but different. Well, I've moved things around a bit. Oh, and the phone's on the blink, so... Well, should we get rid? We only have a text or speak on the webcams anyway, or we can spend their money on wine or chicken. <laughs> oh, oh, presents maybe. Oh, for my beautiful wife. I know how much she loves her prezzies. You can't go on like this, sis. The state of you. You're not in control when you're drinking. I'm fine. But you need to be in control. Oh, who says? How could you let him back in? I'm not. Well, how could you kiss him? 
Oh, I ate him. So how could you kiss him? Carla, look at me. That man killed Tina. I know. He cheated on yes, you. Yes, I'm flaming well, no. You say that you know her, then you go and do something like this. So oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep telling you till you get into that head of yours. He killed Tina. Oh, I just shut up. No, I won't shut up. I won't shut up until you you promise me that you won't let him anywhere near you again. I won't. I don't even know why I did. Because of the drink. You need to stop so you can think straight, so he so he can't mess with your head. Are you listening to me? Only I know best, Carla, okay? Only me. Well, we're back next in Coronation Street on Wednesday at 7.30. Tonight, they've certainly got their work cut out. Real life puts us under scrutiny with the dentists in a new documentary next. While over on ITV Encore, a case of domestic violence leads to a chain of dramatic events from the very beginning in Whitechapel. <laughs> 